Good morning, Joe. We're all set. Let's go to the Isle of Fog and solve its mysteries. You can fly to the island. Just open the map. Tap the island icon to go there. My head spinning, Carl. I don't know if it's from the sea air or because my dream finally came true. We're on the Isle of Fog. I want to explore every inch of the island. Maybe I'll find signs that my father's here. It's hard to see through the fog, though. The fog is really thick, Isabel. What if there's something lurking in it? Even there's nothing there. We should still stick together. There are other oddities. No cell signal, and my clock is running backward. I'll try to disperse the fog with the light of this lantern. Take a look at that huge rock. It's glowing and flickering, and it looks like the fog's coming from it. Let's carefully get closer. If this rock is causing the fog, we should examine it and find a way to neutralize it. That will help us find your castle, Joe. You can go back to Castlewood anytime. Just open the map. Tap the manor to get there. That's incredible, the rock's generating fog on its own, and the fog gets thicker as I move my hand closer to it. So this rock is like a security system, it must be protecting the island from strangers. Hold on. Is this the heart of the island from the Chronicles the source of the incredible phenomena and legends? Most likely, if so, we should find a way to win this heart because we won't see much of the island with the rock's security system on. This rock is basically the Guiding Stone's big brother, let's see if our crystal can calm the heart of the island. The fog started to dissipate when we got the crystal out, see that indention in the rock? It's shaped the same as the crystal's stand. I guess our small crystal should be placed into that intention, let's put it in and see what happens. Just look at that. It worked Joe, the fog's going away. The castle looks exactly like on the scale model, let's see what kind of artifacts and incredible inventions are waiting for us inside. Hmm, <laughs> the door's locked, when we came to Castlewood, we found a spare key in a flower pot outside, maybe we can find one here too. We will. The fog's finally gone, the signal's back and the navigation works fine too, now our friends can get here safely. I think it's much better for them to take a boat here, but who's going to help us fix the dock? Bill's still afraid of the island. I'm sure he won't say no to Joe, I'll get Bill here in the meantime, try to find the key. It's gorgeous here, and calm, seemingly, what's that weird glowing rock though? What's wrong with it Carl? The only thing wrong is I can't find the keys to the castle and that rock is the heart of the island, it generates fog without our crystal. Alright Carl, then you keep looking and I'll fix the dock, and if you don't find the key, no problem, I've got my crowbar.
You beat me Bill, I haven't found the key yet. Hey, the dock looks amazing, it's hard to believe it's 4 centuries old. We'll make it look even younger, some mooring posts and gas lamps that don't need electricity will make it good as new. Carl, finally, how are you? Do you need help? I've been calling you all morning but your phone's off, I was really worried. Oh I'm sorry Amelia, I got carried away looking for the castle key and completely forgot to call you. We're fine, we already landed and got rid of the thick fog that was covering the island, now it's much easier to find us. But there's something strange going on, like, my watch is running backward, we're still trying to open the castle, it looks really old. We'll need a mechanic and a restorer here too, call Hugh, take the boat and come. You have the coordinates, see you at the dock. There you have it, now your dock meets every quality and safety standard, how's it going with the key? I asked Isabel to help, we looked everywhere, the stairs, the pavement, the windowsills, still nothing, I have no idea where it could be. What would Armando do? Imagine you're leaving the island and hiding the key but you still want your ancestor to find it, intuitively. The first thing we found was the glowing heart of the island, let's go take a closer look at it. There's something on the side of the rock, it's clearly not a crack, I'm pretty sure it's a secret button or something. We didn't see it because of the fog before and then we were busy with the crystal, but that thing does look like a hiding place. Let's open the heart of the island, I'm sure something will happen if we press on that panel, it'd be wonderful if the key was behind it. Hats off to Armando, he managed to protect the key for centuries huh, I didn't know the keychain trinkets were a thing back then. It looks like a time capsule, people usually leave important messages in these, I hope there's a note from my father. I can't open the trinket, it's all rusty, let's open the door of the castle first and take a look around. I'm so excited Joe, we're about to open your new castle, get ready for a new world full of mysteries and adventures. This place is massive and I already see every crack, there's a ton of work, this castle is crying for renovation. He's right Joe. The castle's been abandoned for years, its original look is gone, that we're certainly going to change that. First, let's clean up so we have somewhere to sit and relax. Then let's take the covers off the furniture too, I hope we find some trace of my father. We did a great job, that was the first step towards a clean new house. Unfortunately, I didn't find any clues as to where my father could be. Isabel, this castle is huge, and we've only explored a small part of it, we might still find something when we get to the other rooms. I'm sorry, I just can't wait, I need to go and check everywhere, if you don't mind, I'll continue searching. If you guys are staying here, you'd better start fixing this place up or else your castle and your plans will fall apart together. You're right, and the floor is our first priority, let's get rid of the old rug, it's been sitting there collecting dust for years. Hey. 
This rug must have collected a pound of dust per century, but now that it's gone, I can better see what needs doing. What do you think Bill? I saw exact same floor in a nightmare. Ghosts were breaking through it, and the floorboards were barely holding. So I think we need to fix the floor now before evil things come and then we can continue with everything else. What a gorgeous floor. I'm not done yet, there's more in the center and on the left, some floorboards have patterns on them and some are made out of special wood. This castle is a mystery in itself. Even the floors here are weird and I keep hearing noises, they're coming from every corner. Bill, the noises will be gone once we get this entrance hall fixed up, and once our friends get here, the work will go even faster. I thought we'd find old armchairs, tables and desks under the covers, but definitely not a gigantic town hall clock. They say finding a clock in your new house brings luck, I guess finding a big clock means lots of luck. It's in pretty bad shape though, the face is broken, the hands have fallen off, this clock hasn't stood the test of time. Let's put the hands back in place and see if the clock works, my watch is still running backward, I don't even know what time it is. That's a good idea. We could use a working clock here, I'll need a ladder though, the clock face is way too high for me to reach. There you go. Now it's much easier to reach the clock face. Carl, consider this a compliment. You're so light and nimble that climbing that ladder wouldn't be a problem, right? Isabel and I will give you a hand, and hold the ladder, just in case, but still try not to fall. I'll try, I think we can attach the hands on our own to see if the mechanism still works, but we'll need a specialist to restore the clock. clock's going backward. Mm. I saw that in a movie, they wound the clock backward, and the next thing they knew, they were 10 years younger. You're right, it's going backward just like my watch, I guess irregularities with time mechanisms are one of the island's special phenomena. It's missing a hand. Let's see, second hand, our hand, the minute hand's gone, let's look around the room and see if we can find it. Joe, I think I hear a boat, that must be Amelia and Hugh, let's go meet them. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to unexplored lands my friends. I heard the boat and came to meet you, let me take you to the castle. I'll be right there Carl, I want to analyze the island's magnetic field first and the heart, Bill told me all about it, I'll be careful. Hi everybody. Wow. It's old, but it's still breathtaking, that clock is gorgeous, I can already tell we have lots of work. Amelia, you're probably tired, I'll replace the old sofa so there's somewhere to sit down and rest, then we can start fixing this place. Joe, Carl, the sofa is amazing. It's beautiful, elegant and perfectly matches the old style of the castle. I agree, the sofa's nice. Now we just need to find it a couple of soft friends and we'll have ourselves a sitting area. 
The trinket. I completely forgot about it. By the way Amelia, there's a trinket on the keychain. I think there's something inside it, but it's rusty and we can't get it open. Don't worry, I knew there would be antiques here, so I grabbed my special cleaning agent, it'll get the rust right off. The key and the trinket will be as good as new in a minute. <laughs> nice clock, the walls shake when it strikes. The bigger the clock, the louder it strikes, there's no third hand, but the clock still manages to make crates fall on the floor. But that's okay, we'll clean that up later, right now we should think about placing some seating, so that everybody has somewhere to sit. Is this a chair or throne? So big, soft, and stylish. Now this area looks much comfier Joe, there's enough seating for everybody, so now we can finally have some tea. Earthquake. Everybody outside. I'm sorry guys, I accidentally triggered the rock while I was looking at it, that thing is indeed a security system. I've got to upgrade my equipment a bit, so don't get close to the rock for now, we don't want another earthquake. How long will that take? It's getting late you know, and there's no electricity on the island, how are we gonna work in the dark? Don't worry. I'll build a hydroelectric generator, we have more than enough water around the island, then we'll wire the castle. Alright, then I'll go fix the stairs before someone trips over all that rubble, I almost fell there when we ran outside. Thank you Bill. The stairs look quite safe, I'm not worried about falling at all. Carl, I searched the whole castle, but there's no sign of my father, I'm starting to lose hope, I've got to search the island. I don't think you should wander around the island all by yourself, but knowing how determined you are, I won't try to stop you. Don't worry about me Carl, we're the only ones on the island anyway, we came here first and made the fog go away. Then let's at least have some tea with our friends, a cup of tea will surely make your eye sharper and your search more successful. Alright, I can stay for a cup of tea, and I can search the castle one more time, just in case I missed something earlier. Tea sounds good, I'll come after I'm done with the stairs, I just need to refurbish the banisters. The stairway looks amazing Bill, and safe. While you were fixing it, I cleaned the leaves off the paths to make this area tidier. I like the stairs too, if I was a kid, I'd already be sliding down those banisters, although I'm sure they could easily hold an adult. By the way, I saw the bushes moving while I was fixing the stairs, I think there's someone else on the island, they must be spying on us. I didn't see anything, it was probably an animal or a bird, this island's been uninhabited for centuries, I'm sure we're the only people. Here's what I came up with, it has a speed control unit, a turbine with sensors, and, and I should stop boring you with all the technical specs, but let me just add that it produces no toxic emissions and makes no noise. You're a genius Hugh. So, the next step is getting electricity into the castle. That's right. I just need to finish a few things here first, I'll test the unit, set everything up, it's going to take a little while. It's ready guys. The generator's all set, now we can wire the castle and light this place up. I'll take it from here. 
Wiring an old castle like this is no easy task, but that's okay, we'll go one step at a time. For a start, we'll put two end tables in the lounge area, then we'll put lamps on them, it's gonna look great, guaranteed. 